I'm in chapter two, right? Yeah. The mouse can move them. All right. Uh, where is this one? Rip. Ready to see kids getting murdered? Sure. Let's do it. Why didn't the Terminator upgrade to Windows 10? When asked, he said, I still love Vista, baby. God damn it. God damn it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, actually. Wait, can I use Wazda? I can. Okay. It's been a bit. I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. I need to go to the kid with the lever. Right? But I need to get her first. So I think that's downstairs, actually. Let's don't get it. Oh, well. Why should you never tell a window a joke? Somebody because it might dead. crack up! <laughs> Slater! Somebody's dead. <laughs> Two windmills are standing in a wind farm. One asks, what's your favorite kind of music? The other says, I'm a big metal fan. <laughs> God damn it. I was reading it. And I'm like, I don't get it. And then I heard it and I got it. <laughs> Slater! Thank you for the $20 donation, you sweet bean. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yes, it might get cracked up, munchkin. God damn it. Opening for YouTube, cat. What? Uh, oh, thank you. I see. You're reminding me. So, this is... I know, we got distracted by all the puns and the donation. Thank you, Slater, you sweet bean. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, hello, guys. Uh, for those that do not know or just came in, this is a Patreon pick from Hall. Thank you, Hall, for picking this as your Patreon pick and being a Patreon pick supporter. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, yeah, this is Corpse Party, for those wondering. And a lot of death and kids getting murdered. It's fine. This is a PC version, though, so it doesn't show it super graphically. Whereas the um, uh, Vita was super graphic, so. At least there's that. A punkopolis. I hate this music. Okay. Okay, so I think she. I should go down here first. I can't? Did I not do the first lever? I don't remember where shit is. Uh. I will die if I look at that kid. It was the same last time. Wait, so how am I supposed to get her? I'm confused. Cat, did anyone tell the joke about the three holes in the ground filled with water? What? Speaking ill of the dead is a grave mistake. God damn it. Look suspiciously to Fender. As you should. Wait, so if I can't get her, how am I supposed to stop her from dying? And then me no well 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 god damn it get out <laughs> can I gap seems narrow enough to be crossable but not without some assistance you know did I just not do the first I giggled did I not do the first lever then before saving Does anyone know? Because you can answer. I get lost in these areas super easily. I'm surprised. Is it Harmony? Is that how you pronounce the name? Puts up with my puns. I honestly can't remember, right? Um. Oh, I went in that back room. Let's go in there again.
How am I supposed to not die? Lever seems stuck. It won't budge. Well, that's inconvenient. There's a piece of scrap paper pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots dotting the page and realize they're tear stains. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Right. I knew that. You got it right, cat. Sweet! It is a lovely name. I love it. That means you already pulled it. That's what I figured. So, I can't get her? How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to not die? That was weird. That scared me. Wait, why can't I go in there? If you require any name tags from the corpses in the school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. What? Why can't I go in there? Rude. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. Well, rude. Top tip about telling the difference between crocodiles and alligators. You'll see one in a while, and the other you'll see later. God damn it. God damn it. How they go say goodbye to the vampire so long, sucker. But do read them because it's awesome bad end, but make sure you save first. Right, so that way it doesn't save the bad end. As long as you don't look at the kid's face, you're good. Right, but the problem is I pull the lever and what's her name dies. She comes out. That's what I did last stream. It's my last pun too. What kind of bird? What kind of bird is sticky? A Velcro. God damn it. Collections master list is now all the games and art streams, Patreon picks, and indie games, and Cat's family. Cat, holy crap, thank you. Wrong lever, Kronk. Yeah, that's how I died last time, was that I pulled the lever, and she comes out of the room that I can't go into right now. And that's problematic. All right. Wait. A disturbing large amount of human hair is crammed into the cabinet, filling each shelf overflowing. Looking closely, there's an excessive number of bugs decidedly scrambling all over. Ew. Scampering. Uh, the sight alone is enough to make your skin crawl. Well, let's get to it. Uh, so that's where the teacher is and I can't help her right now so I don't know what I'm supposed to do hair bugs there's something I'm missing and I don't know what all I can do is definitely go down to the creepy floor They award the Nobel Prize annually. I, I think that one. Oh, wait. I didn't read the first part. Do you know about the World Championship of Knock Knock Jokes? God damn it. God damn it. Hi, Cookie. Hello, hello. Coffee done. You guys are allowed to tell me what I'm supposed to do to not die. Just letting you know. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. I know. Let me get my friend. How the fuck? Okay. 
tried to make a pun about blue, but glue, but it didn't stick. God damn it. Thank you, Hall. Cat reading the joke second. My bad. You can tell Medium was excited for her date. She was psyched to see them. Uh, difference between unlawful and illegal. Unlawful is against the law. Illegal is a sick bird. God damn it. I just want to save my friend so we both don't die. That'd be great. Okay, thanks. Um, what's this way? It's an angry flame. Custodian closet door is locked. There's an erratic noise, like the sound of TV coming from within. I should probably not talk to the spirit again, but I did just save. I hate you, sister. It hurts. Well, that's awkward. I thought it would kill me. I thought red ones were super violent, but this one's not killing me for some reason. Can't remember this part exactly, sorry. It's okay. I just don't know how to not end up dead, basically. Is this super dark for you guys? No, oh, it kind of looks super dark. Sounds like sick burn. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, damn it, breathe, God. Why is everyone in a pun moon? <laughs> Harmony gave you the same look at, you're welcome. Is Ayumi with us? No, that's the problem. She's in this room and I can't go in there. And I need her with me so she doesn't die. And in turn, I die. Someone should be selling all these jokes to a Christmas cu cracker company. They would make a fortune. <laughs> Think you're supposed to talk to her before you left the room and she would come with you. So I'm locked into this. Well, that sucks. All right. I don't know how far back it is. No, it's not my only chapter two save. I have one more. So we'll see where that one is. That's stupid. I hate it when games do that shit where you can save into a bad end. What's this one? So it's 18 minutes before. I don't know where though. Never go around a place like this, right? Who would? Uh, Ren, that sounds amazing. Food options in the deli are good today. Creamy Cajun chicken pasta, Caesar salad, and cornbread with honey butter. That sounds delicious. Uh, okay, so this will be interesting. So she's with me now, but I don't remember what our goal was. What do I have? I do not have the nail puller. No, this should be fine because she's with me. It showed her in my party. So, remember when I left because I was like, oh shit, I should save before I talk to her? Well, then it locked me out of there. And that's the problem. But now we have her, so it's fine. Okay. I just don't know how far back this is. Head downstairs, then east, then north. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I explored this earlier, but oh well. I did in my previous save. My other save. I just don't know if I did all this stuff. Okay, just in case. I'm going to look at the bodies again. Okay. In case I need, like, the name tags and stuff. Okay. 
Yeah. Because that's not a ghost yet. Okay. Why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. F. I'll never forgive you. Ah. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm out. Zachary, thank you for that host. Clerk, I need noms now. Go get those noms. Making me a hungry man. Okay. I did all this. Okay. Hi, Flagron. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh, shit. That scared me. Okay. Right. We did this. She doesn't feel good. I forgot there's voice acting in this. <laughs> Alright. Okay, don't look at him. I don't... Ugh. Rusted blood soaked nail pillar. Right. Yes. Eh. That was a little more close for comfort. Alright, I'm out. Bye. So this time, chase after her. This is fine. Yeah. She looks super creepy there, though. Rude. What the hell was that all about? We missed a lot of puns earlier. A shit ton of puns. Okay, now I can go in here. Okay. I did not do this. Make sure you talk to her before you leave the room. Well, oh god, I didn't read that fast enough. No one is saying that. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out together to celebrate. What are you doing? That's disgusting. Ah! Why are you both looking at me like that? I don't know what we're, what's going on. Shinozaki, hey. Hmm? Kishinuma, what's wrong? Uh, you were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all to hell by now. Uh, never mind. Probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. Okay, now she's with us. Yay. Stop for a moment. Ask yourself, is the world behind your back still there? All right, bye. Uh. Rude? What the? The power stone in Yoshiki's pocket suddenly and spontaneously shattered. I think I just heard Miss Yui's voice. Did I save you? She said. But it couldn't be, could it? Oh, ah! Ah! Come with me. Did I just die? Seriously? What's going on? It's pitch black. Shinazaki, Miss Yui, Satoshi, is anyone here? Man, where the hell am I? Was I dreaming or something? I can't move? Feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? A fucking... Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm dead. What the fuck? Why are there so many possible deaths in this, like, small moment of saving? Uh, what the? Who's? Someone's burying me. Well. F. Stop! Dirt and gravel from above? Stop! What the hell? I'm alive down here. You planning to suffocate me? My mouth is getting totally filled up. Corpse Party does love his bad ends. Stop! I can't breathe. Am I going to die like this? Yes. Why? Who would... This can't be happening. Was I supposed to run away from him? What did I do wrong? Somebody tell me so I don't do it again. <laughs> this isn't funny. Stop it. My eyes are really hurting. Game over. Chapter two, wrong end. One of four. My mouth is getting totally filled up. Cat 2020. Fender. <laughs> God damn it. Die from the pressure of the sand. Yeah. It's called corpse party after all. I know. What are you? I'm burying you. I'm still alive, Brennan. Oh, stepbrothers. Oh, I've never seen stepbrothers. When you go to the ghost part. Go back into the room and go around show rack? Wait, what are you talking about? I'm confused. You need to run away and not look in his eyes after the crystal shatters. Oh, it's that kid. Oh, uh, so that's what happens when you look in his eyes. Noted. I didn't realize it was the same kid. Man, they were really dragging this out. Yeah, they were. Fitner? Wasn't sure whether to tell you he was waiting out there or not. I didn't want to spoil it. Fair. No, that's fine. I just don't want it to happen again is my point. But I'm fine with I'm fine with bad ends. As long as I'm not locked into them. If you guys know I shouldn't save before a part, please let me know. <laughs> I know no one knew the last time, but... Uh, if you do know, warn me. Don't save or something. Because I don't want to be locked into a bad end. But Luckily, I had multiple saves. Uh, Downstairs. No way, it's freaking amazing. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna save before doing the lever. Is that. Did I do this one? Okay. Hey, Hex Girl. Hello, hello. Bed ends are good as long as they aren't permanent. Exactly. Yeah, because I'm fine seeing how they die, unfortunately. That's as morbid as it is. Um, and sad as it is. I don't mind seeing the other ends, but... I'm out. Okay, I'm gonna go save so I don't have to do that stuff again. And I can just beeline it to the boy. We'll try again. Tasty breakfast squids would sweep my skin! Munchkin, thank you so much! J it was a gifted sub, my alert lied. Is it just ski? Jeski, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Munchkin! Aww. You lie! You lie! You sweet beans! Thank you 
so, so much, much getting you now have access to all the emotes, exclamation point, Discord, if you'd like to join our Discord, and with Squid Badge next year. Welcome to the winners for everyone's a winner. Aww. Ski, you sweet bean. Clearly Munchkin knows you. Also go Munchkin uh, and Jiski. Do you guys have a name or nickname you prefer to go by? Like John or whatnot. If you guys have a name or nickname, let me know. Eh, birthday is starting the title. Oh yeah, go for it. Go for it, Kath. I'm fine seeing how they die. I didn't know that any others are as bad as the one with Psycho as far as getting locked in. Okay. Why not? My name is Andy. Do you prefer to go by Andy? Let me know. I will make a note of it so that way I can keep calling you it uh, because BTTV lets me. We are the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. Ski! Thank you for the entertainment. It means more than you know. Keep it up. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, you sweet bean. Thank you. So I'd prefer, okay, I can make sure I call you Andy. Oh, thank you so much, Jiski. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm making a note so I don't forget for Andy. There we go. Oh, I'm glad you guys like what I produce. It makes me happy. Oh, as I hit the camera, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, I clicked off the game. This is fine. Saving. All the hugs, all the love and hype. Hey. This is because he stalked my Twitter. That's super sweet. Oh, all the loves. All the loves. You guys are all so sweet. Well, welcome. Welcome, Jiski. All right. Uh, I guess we're doing this. YOLO. Uh, I forget space bar works too, and not just enter. Okay, let's do it. Itchy tasty. Itchy tasty. You're fine. Get up. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. I remember that diary. YOLO usually doesn't end well. It works perfectly fine. What are you talking about? Oops. He like weirdly walked on his own. There we go. Okay. She'll run off on her own, it's fine. I'm assuming he walks down the center when he goes out no matter what. So then I have to immediately look away. It was just hard to tell I was in control until he stabbed me. Rude. Every time. Spooky. All right. Let's do it. Rusted blood na soaked nail pullers are my favorite kind of nail pullers. Oh, she bounces. Come on, let's do it. You're fine. Just a little possessed. It's fine. Oh. Come with me. The time is right. There's no better team. Come on. Arm and arm will win the fight. Reminds me to stay away from Hall. Uh, okay. Can I not go out the center? Nope. Ah! I tried. I'm trying. Oh my god. Uh, 
Oh, so I'm supposed to go back in. I thought I was trying to run past him, but he was making all the floorboards break. It's that ghost from before. I left the classroom. Louise, don't, don't let it touch you. Yeah, no shit. Galactic Conquest, it here, Dooms! Did I, did I live? Can I save? Can I fucking save? Or should I not because the thing broke? Is there a way to do that without the thing breaking? Dooms, thank you so much for eight months. Think of some baby names. We almost have a Twitch baby. Thank you so, so much, you sweet bean. You can run straight back into the room. Oh, uh, you're now in the, uh, oops. It'll make it easier to avoid them. Oops. Well, yes, don't save yet. Or should I, I'll just save in a different. Well, that one's bad. So I'll just save over that no matter what. <laughs> so we don't want to keep that one. You can do it without the crystal breaking, but you don't need to. Okay. Should I keep the crystal? Like, does that matter on if Miss Yui or me or anybody dies? A b -b -b baby nine months <laughs> Dooms, Amaya. Hey. it gets you a better ending to the chapter to keep it if you keep the crystal okay god damn it all right that's not what I want damn it You know what? This is just going to be the whole stream is doing this section repeatedly. Hi, Belly Coco. Hello, hello. Well, at least I don't have to. Yeah. Only eighth so far. No, I was saying for next month, think of some names. Belly Coco, you missed all the amazing puns. Adpocalypse. The punpocalypse. It's true. I don't know why I said ad. Okay. Let's do it. And hopefully that won't break. I don't know. What a... God damn it. YouTube still haunts. It's true. I can highlight the puns. It's okay. She may have missed out, but the forecast sky calls for clear skies. God damn it. More puns? Oh, Fender. You know what? Let's do this all over again. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Come on. Nope. 
Just nope on out of that real quick here. Child is the bane of my existence. So now I should save. I'll save in a third in case I ever want to get that bad. And I don't know why I would, but you know. Okay. Now I assume I do these levers. Will it kill the ghost? Curious. Yeah, Puller. Sarah's later got stuck in a loop dream that was overly realistic. I know your pain, it's fine. I slept through my alarms again, so I get you. Shaga actually woke me up or else I would have probably slept till the stream. I'm assuming I want to pull this, but you know, I just won't save until I know for sure. Yes. And there's no ghost there now, but I do have to avoid him. Is there a man of war constantly cranky who is a little jelly? God damn it. More ghost dodging coming up. Should I save? Thor Marco is named Flampian. I like Flampian in German. Sure you can save. Okay. All right. Ghost dodging. Need to not look at his eyes. Child? Small child? Stop! Okay. Well, he's not here, so that's convenient. Let's do it. What happens? How fucking convenient. Okay, so it doesn't kill the ghost. Uh, uh. Uh, shit. Nope. Nope. We're redoing it. Okay, so there's gotta be a way to do this. The difference between jelly and jam. Stop, child. I will punch you. Touching makes me feel good. Okay. You know what? This little child is a dick. I'm not exactly sure how to easily dodge him there either without looking at him. I'm really bad at RPG like style controls too, so this would be interesting. This is why kids are considered menaces, like Dennis. Okay, so he comes in through here, so I can wait down here and like quickly juke around. I don't know. We'll see. Bye, Felicia. Nope. Wait, can I go save? Master Jukes! 
Jelly's made of fruit juices and is generally firmer while jam is made of pieces of fruit or even whole fruits that's often looser consistency. True. This is why kids are considered menaces. You can do it. You had the right idea for waiting for him to give you a way to the exit, then go for it. Yeah. Nice one. Can I save or should I continue right? It's still suspicious offender. One game pun. It'll be the last one for the rest of the stream. Promise. Boyfriend just broke up with me for not talking about video game or for talking about video games too much. What a stupid thing to fall out for. God damn it. But just sharing an interesting fact. You can, but you don't need to go back. Will be a new save point very shortly. Got you. Okay. The cursed writings left behind by those who lost all reason must be read in proper order. If one part is skipped, the next will never appear. If you insist upon reading such dangerous words too, I pray you have a strong will and a sturdy mind. Okay. Bye. What's wrong? You need to stop for a minute? No, I just thought this seems like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume. Go ahead. fashion space heater. Unfortunately, it's so full of ash, it'll probably never light again. There was a light in here. It's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both its blades covered liberally in blood. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. How to remove a tongue! It can be a real challenge to keep straight just which straight just which warm severed tongue belongs to which patient as such it is highly recommended that the tongues be tagged or marked once detached their owners will be in no state to identify them after all best to work quickly though too before things get hectic the patient's bare tongue stumps will suffer postpartum swelling resulting in a slow suffocation you may wish to put the patients down once the inevitable squirming begins. It's kinder that way. And will free you to tag your trophies in peace. Ew. There's an open journal and a framed picture on the desk. The journal seems almost decorative, as if it were a plastic model built onto the desk. No part of it can be moved even the slightest bit. There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked onto the wall. Looking closely, each individual organ seems to be bloodstained and swollen, as if it could burst forth with a spray of gore at any moment. Vast quantities of medicine. Okay. The handle turns with a loud squeak, and a drop of water comes out. English. I remember this room. We made a friend here. <laughs> Dalton, we did not make a friend here. Guys, I just want to point out there's no blood here. Uh, there's no blood here. Okay. Science lab. The door seems almost like a model as if it's sculpted into the wall. There's no way of opening it. Nope, there is not. There's no blood there. There is, uh, in... I don't remember the other girl. No. Naomi? Naomi and Psychos. That's where the teacher is! Save the teacher! Anywhere. Detective Cat. Well, spoilers. No observation. I'm not saying why there's no blood there. I'm just saying there's no blood there. 
Don't say why there's no blood there. That's spoilers. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals school ID name tag. Byakudan School, a senior high school, class 2-4, Ryusuke Karayama. Kisami. Did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. Great. There's blood. Can we find Psycho's ghost? Lavatories. Girls, boys, keep our restrooms clean. Been at work for a half hour and I'm already tr ready to go home. There's just too much stupid today. Rin, you poor thing. Why'd she separate from me? There's Ayumi standing next to him. She seems to be staring down at the floor and grinning wildly. What is it? Uh, nothing. Maybe I'm just seeing things. The mirror is slightly vibrating against the back wall with each subtle movement you make, clattering as it does so. Get away from the mirrors. It feels weird being in the boys' room. Oh. Amy, this is the men's? It's either ridiculous customers or ridiculous co-workers or both. Oh, ridiculous customers. Six. I get the distinct impression that somebody's watching me. Probably just my imagination. Not her. Sure has an interesting smell. Yoshiki's pallid face stares back at him from the mirror. Is this really what I look like? Shut the goddamn door! Alright, damn. No. No. Hey, did you just hear the crazy voice? I didn't hear anything, but we're definitely not alone here. We should leave this room right now. Alright. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shut the goddamn door. I love that ghost. He's very upset. He's having a moment going to the bathroom. Don't interrupt him. It's just the bathroom. Nothing weird between men and women. Yeah. I had one who wanted to know if we work with Airbnb. Do you not know the point of Airbnb? That's really weird. A weird question. Ugh. No, 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 don't. What, what's this? Slightly vibrating. Slightly vibrating. Hmm. Seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like. A person. Somebody. Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. No. No, please. Don't. Boy. What's wrong? She screamed. Freak. Whoa. Naomi screaming psycho. Nope. Shinozaki. Shinozaki. 
Damn it all. What the hell is going on around here? Well, I'm not controlling him. I assume I talked to her. I mean, who barges in on someone taking a deuce? Even ghosts deserve privacy, you know? At least it wasn't this ghost. Oh, no. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Do I go talk to her? Yep, talk to her. Okay. Are you all right, Shinozaki? No. Psycho was too good for this world. Bring me more! We'll do whatever I ask of you. I don't care if you're innocent. You li you're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. Cleanup is a real pain in the ass, too, you know. Have some pity. Hey, girl. Hey. Uh-oh. What's up? <laughs> Which one do I say? I haven't saved in a bit, so. Ghost asks you a question. Whatever you answer, you die. Great. Great. Just learned of that ghost yesterday. Wickedly weird. What if you don't answer at all? Amy is like a weird radio picking up all the ghosties, yeah. It doesn't matter? That's awkward. Pain in the ass, I'm reminded of a shoe. <laughs> hey, rude. What the hell? That really hurt. I believed in you. Why doesn't anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. Why am I walking away from her? God damn it. Wait, what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Do I go back to her? There's an evil spirit there. I'm nervous. Uh, I think I know what's happening here. Not gonna say for what that what though. Okay. If you ignore or run away, you stay alive. Oh, okay. You don't answer. You don't have toilet paper. Oh my god. I think I would need a minute after hearing that laugh, right? That's why I'm afraid to make the wrong choice. Hall, oh, do I go talk to the evil spirit? Do I go try and talk to Yumi again? Does it matter? Another toilet ghost? Head back to the girl's room? Past her? What the hell? The stall is pitch black inside. There's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. It almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. Is there something I'm supposed to do? Japan has several ghosts that haunt the bathroom. That's amazing. Exactly what you Dutch did. You can head out now. Okay. Shinozaki. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? That's it? Kishinuma. Oh. Kishinuma. Crap. 
What's all this smoke I see? Get the hell out of that stall right now. Right this instant. Hitting the tobacco again. Were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you that what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. I'm sorry. You're a real problem, child. You know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? Damn. <laughs> Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all, all the time, mister. Huh. <laughs> Aw, bye, Amaya. Good luck at work. Thank you for the good luck for not dying. Good luck. Well, you did an effing summoning, summoning from the internet. It's true. Take care, Amaya. Have a wonderful day. That's when if you knock on the stall door and she says yes, you die. F. You're clearly not having fun here, right? Well, who has fun at school? <laughs> so why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family. But they've never once shown their faces around here. Now, since the very first parent-teacher conference we ever held, wonder if the they'd be embarrassed. Rude. Huh. My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. <laughs> That's not what I mean. I'm thinking of a big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. Rude. Japanese ghost horror stuff? Yes. I mean, same. It's very interesting. The problem is, people are having kids when they're ha way too young. He's just got a lot of opinions. Before they're be they've become proper adults, they're pooping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Do you need, do you need someone to help you with that baggage, sir? He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in the school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass and drop out. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies or daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. <laughs> What's with that look? I've never hit a teacher before. Ah, oh, well. First time for everything. <laughs> Miss Sabuda, Sabuda? Uh, oh, oh. Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha, thanks. Hmm? Shinazaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Always so clear and focused. <laughs> we instructors like your kind the best of all. You ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it, okay? I ain't going within 10 feet of you, but okay. <laughs> that guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? Rude. You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse of a teacher like him. And you'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much pain in the ass it may be, and no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, bite your tongue, and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why, why are you crying? Uh, sorry. Whenever I give an Im impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinazaki from class 1-3. Uh, 
Sorry to butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling. He, <laughs> I was lying, of course. <laughs> Cute. Creep would have had it coming, it's true. That's an evil villain laugh. I never actually thanked her for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here. That I'd protect her. <laughs> no matter what happens. <laughs> what is happening out there? This must be a test. To see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Shinazaki. Please, come back to me. Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason. No reason for you to stay like this. Uh, so? Warm. Kishinuma? Where? What? Shinazaki, you're... Rude? Ow! Is it you? Are you back? Huh? What, what do you... So what you're saying... Yeah. So far, all the corpses we found in here have been people we've never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms and you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us. Oh, someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once. Your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. It felt like it was on fire. And then I voided my bowels. <laughs> Ew. And everything went dark. Ew, that was a little graphic. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and legs wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shinazaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Oh, that's him. <laughs> well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. I know where she is! Maybe we should head back to the classroom. Yeah. Our secret! Our secret, thank you so much for 15 months. That is so many months. Hi, our secret. Thank you, thank you. And hi, Goth Demon. Hi, Senri. The power of hugs! Uh, we don't need bowel updates. No, we don't. Glad I'm eating now! Oh, no! <laughs> I've read worse in this game. It's true. This is corpse party. You get used to it, yeah? Thank you so much, our secret. It <laughs> cheeks in the wind! Yeah, that's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do before I leave? I'll go back to the classroom. Corpse party? No bowel party. I'm afraid to make movements. 
Nope, you're done. Head back to the classroom or at least try. Yeah. Hello, can't stay. Did it last ton? Oh, God. Did a ton of last minute helping my classmate access a math learning center that the link provider was busted. No! So I was being detected for them. Take care. Good luck at work, our secret. You're such a good bean. Thank you, thank you. Good luck at work. What, Kath? What? What'd I do? I'm afraid to make movements. I am! Do I follow the ghost? I want to save. Can I save before doing this? Like, can I walk past there? You can save, but yes, follow the ghost. Okay, I'm gonna go save. Oh wait, the save's right here. Do you have to? Can I see what happens if I don't? I saved. I'm not too worried. I'm assuming nothing happens. Mm, fine. Let's go see what happens first. I guess. You can always reload that save. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> Susumoto, stay, get away. You need to run quickly. Now my homeroom teacher's the best, but I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> Susumoto, hey, snap out of it. Susumoto, it's us, okay? Is that a headless girl next to her? Shinozaki Kishinuma. Can you stand? Come on. We're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped gra grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he, he held are confirmed to have been used to cut the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Heavenly Host Elementary School students uh, pictured here are the four who were found in the basement room. Of these children, one was. When investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was blank, blood, blank. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Hello, Ma. Hello. Oh, dear. Kat, did you make the joke or was it a coincidence? I couldn't tell. I made a joke? What was my joke? I don't know. Uh, about two thirds headless, but it doesn't show that well in pixels. Yeah. Yeah. Can't stay for long, having a weird day. No problem. All the love. Good luck. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. 
The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them, too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Shiver whimper. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. No! Oh, wrong one. No, stop! Hey, what's going on? Eat! Shinozaki. Damn it. What the hell did they do? What do I do? <laughs> I did just save, I guess. You're breathtaking. <laughs> uh, you quote adult in course party. Oh, I said I'm afraid to. I'm afraid to make movements. Oh, I did not do that on purpose. There's nothing you can do. Uh. Come and play. Small child doesn't deserve this! <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. I just shivered. I feel like I'm freezing. We can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. Whoa, your nose is bleeding. What? D don't tell me that, jeez. You're so blunt about it too. Honk. <laughs> uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello? I don't recall this person. Honk! <laughs> God damn it. Untitled Ayumi game! Sh she's got eyes like a dead fish. You've only just arrived at this school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will, too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist, Naho... Senoki. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for commu communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal stu studies and occultisms. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss... So... Say? I think it's Say. Say Noki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. 
Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition? On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right! Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped, with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie within those children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying... The murderer is here in the school, yes. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? Did we forget our friend is floating in the other room? Yes. Sae... Sae noke? Sae noke? Probably gonna forget that, but I'll try. You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinazaki, hold up. I don't know much about you as an author or paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. Do I talk to her? I have to go now. Take care, Soothsayer. Have a wonderful evening. Have a good night's rest. I think Ayumi got a bit starstruck. Maybe just a little bit. You can save again first if you want. Before talking to her? No, I cannot. <laughs> Oi. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Shinazaki. Ah, okay, after talking to her then. She needs to get out of this school, or she could be in real trouble, damn it. Why is there no exit? Okay. I was trying to preempt you asking, but preempted the game too. Okay. So the only thing I can think of is that we're supposed to go to that red door. That's like the only door that seems suspicious. It's the janitor, Cecilia Dolph. I don't remember who killed them though. I don't exactly remember where we are either. Ah! 
You're still here. Of course you are. Oh, good. He gets stopped by things, too. Great. Glad he can't float over shit. That's new. What's this? There's an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the f ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Should I pick it up just to see if I die? I did just save. Like, or am I supposed to pick it up? Up to you. Do I die if I pick it up? I just don't want to accidentally save and script myself into dying, you know, again. No, you want to pick it up? Oh, okay. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll, somehow or another. It's found a way to communicate its sole desire. W what the? I hear a voice. Give me back my head? I don't have its head. Antique doll body. Where do I know where to find it? God damn it. Where do I go? I can't. Apparently that doesn't work. I have no clue where I'm supposed to go though. Where'd he go? Where's the kid? Oh. Gah. The front entrance way my roof will be painted on. They're opening or giving hints that it'll ever open. Damn it. Oh, damn it. I knew we couldn't be this crazy. It wouldn't be this easy. Why won't you open? Did we do this before? Probably. Let us out, you worthless piece of- God, you're annoying! Just shut up! Uh. Even if it did open, I'd be staying right where I am. You think I could just abandon Miss Shishoto and our friends? What's your problem? I never said that. Was Coward! Delinquent! Now how about you shut the hell up? Come on, let's just go. Wish I were with Mochita instead of you. Ouch. Should I have not initiated that? That's new. Baka baka. Hi, Catastrophe. Good morning. Now I have proof that some people don't know how time works. I had a lady try to argue with me saying that the rental company wasn't going to do... Doing the rates off 24 hour time frames since the price for 1 p.m. to 1 p.m. was different from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. What? I nearly choked on popcorn. Should I not have initiated that? Boy? No, you're fine. Ayumi's just being a bitch. Okay. So I can save. Right? I can at least save over the first one. Okay. I was gonna say, hi, Kath! <laughs>
Gotta find the head. Force of habit? Can I go in here now? Wait, no, I could. It's just the quiet room. There's a room I couldn't go into. I wonder if I can go in it now, though. It's where the teacher is. Okay. Sonata, not saying anything. Okay. Oh, I found the doll head. There's a severed head of an old fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its old desire. What the? I hear a voice. Again. Return my body? Acquired antique doll head. The head and the body of the antique doll are joined. It begins speaking more clearly and directly. <clears throat> With a high-pitched voice like that of a child. It slowly repeats several phrases in a cold and distorted, yet oddly, sing-songy tone. Child killings witnessed, I... Out of sorts within my brain. Enough need to hoard more. Never wanting them to die, but scared myself. Such death and pain. I am so sorry. I feel so ashamed. So very sorry. I am not a bad man. Oh. Never wanting them to die, but couldn't raise a helping hand. I am so sorry. I feel so ashamed. So very sorry. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like, it's just playing around and saying what we want to hear. I'm so sorry. I feel so ashamed. So very sorry. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as repentance from the murderer? Acquired pennant spirit. I'll never forgive him, no matter what he says. I mean, fair. Still can't go in there. W what the? Ouch! Damn it. I want to go in there. All right. So I'm assuming I go back to Mayu. Getting tired, so I'll get an early sleep. Go get an early sleep, Demonas. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. Getting you some huggles, too. Have a wonderful night rest. Sometimes I have to read subtitles to see if it's Cat or the characters talking. Fair. Oh, yeah, so much fun killing all the children. All the chitlins. Small child. Have fun with the next game, cat. Thank you. All right. Sizumoto. Open your eyes, please! Haven't you ghost done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get it was really horrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is supposed to accomplish? What's that supposed to accomplish, huh? Yeah? Stop! If you make them mad, they'll shut us out! Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Ayumi held up the antique doll. 
and let the children listen to the pennant spirit sealed within. You can rest in peacefully. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. The horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. And the red's not good. Please? I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. No, stop! Yeah. E? No! Yeah. No! Amy threw the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panicking frustration. Is she? No. This isn't... It couldn't be... Suzu... <laughs> Shinazaki, don't look. Come on. Let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore! Shinazaki! I'm I'm really starting to lose it. Who the fuck? She know Oh okay. I forgot about that. <laughs> Startled me. <sighs> Double F. The teacher! <laughs> what? The shell feels like it's gotten lighter. Ow! Oh. So you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am! But you're just their instructor, no? You have no familiar bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children. I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. Never underestimate a teacher. Now, answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporeal entities joined us in these closed spaces, all at the same time. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. <sighs> my right arm is definitely broken and all this blood all those cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back I wonder how long I was out for 
Shinazaki Kishimura must be worried. I must get back to the class. I need to get back to the classroom. A spirit was trapped here just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred. One victim drawn to harm another. It's not just people trapped in this space, but their sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs out in these halls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Well... Two of them can't. Continue to chapter three. We completed chapter two. Corpse party blood covered. The ghost doesn't have a head? No, it does not. Uh, I knew the little girl died there. I'm just still sad about it. But I knew that that when I first saw it with Naomi and uh, Seiko, I knew. I remembered that's the little girl, which is so sad, because she's not even a member of the school. Like she's not a part of the class. She shouldn't have been there in the first place. <laughs> she's just what's his name's little sister, and now his little sister is Rip and Seiko. Both of them are. I'm sad. We'll ignore the how Yue Sensei is alive after being trapped under a cabinet full of sharp medical instruments for many hours. It's fine. So what would have been different at the end of chapter two if I didn't have the, if I had broken the stone? Uh, I got penitent, pent, penitence as an achievement. <laughs> That's not Satoshi's sister who just died? I thought it was. That was Mayu, the one who meant... Who was meant to have transferring out. Wait, really? I thought... I always thought that was Satoshi's little sister. Oh, she's Yuka. I was doing the wrong voice for her. Oops. I should stretch. We can also play a little bit longer. Or is this a good place to stop? It's been over an hour and a half, so it might be a good place to start or stop. Because I think we started at 1245. Penitence is a word I love. The action of feeling or showing sorrow and regret for having done wrong. Repentance. Did I say it right? Penitence? I'm assuming this is probably a good place to stop then. I'm saying it right? Cool. Holy crap. That was a lot all at once there. Holy shittles. I don't even remember the voice for Mayu then. Well, that's sad. She would have transferred out and been safe. Rip. It's still the one that Glasses Boy liked, right? Or maybe not. Maybe I'm getting them all mixed up. The side characters I mix up. Well, the guys are all vastly different, but the girls, some of them are very similar. It's the one more Shige likes. Okay, I thought so. Well, his crush is dead. Awkward. So then, yeah. This is probably a good place to stop then so we could start chapter three next time. Thank you, Hall, for being a Patreon supporter and for picking this. Even though I'm so terrible at it, I'm so sorry. So sorry. But thank you, thank you. Uh, even though it was a sad ending, 
There's nothing we can do about it. That's the stuff I remember the most. So from here on out, I don't remember as well. So I may need help. Like I really, I don't remember the ending at all because I was half paying attention because I think I was doing art projects at the same time as watching Cry play it. So the last chapter, I have no fucking clue. And honestly, I can't even tell you what three and four were, are about. So. We're all enjoying it. So I'm going to get up, go to the bathroom. I just stretched my hands, but I got to stretch my arms. Um, but yeah, but I'll just run to the bathroom real quick. So before we switch over to Forgotten Anne. But thank you so much, Hall. I appreciate you.